Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Disney's Sorcerer's Arena. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the newest event, the Lion King event. It is almost over. we got a day and 11 hours, but we are going to go ahead and dive into that. We're also going to talk about some of the changes that have happened in the game, both the good and the bad. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. But first, before we jump into all of that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So, if this is your first time seeing this game, this is Disney Sources Arena, and it is in beta right now. The tentative launch for this is sometime Q1 2020, so that's sometime January, February, March of next year. Because it's in beta, that's also why you only see a video on this game every few weeks. Uh, sometimes it'll be every other week. It just depends on what's going on in the game and what kind of updates there have been. Because when you see a game go from beta to global launch, there's a lot of changes that can happen. So I don't want to get people too familiar with all the tips and tricks and everything of <laughs> of the beta if some of those are going to change in launch. So that's why typically you're only going to see these videos every few weeks. Typically, again, over taking a look at newest events, maybe some achievements, some cool unlocks, some cool characters, things like that. But uh, so that's kind of what the deal with this is. So let's go ahead and jump into this right now. Right now we have the Lion King event, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's there's some changes with it. So let's take a look at that. So first, I unlocked this guy up here, this cute little guy right up here. Look at him. Look at him. Look how cute this guy is. So I, got, I unlocked him through the pass holder. And uh, let's just talk about the pass holder for half a second here. So pass holder gold, August 2019. We got 11 hours left to complete this. And there are, I don't know, how many tiers are there? There are 50 tiers. And you know, I don't go hardcore on this. Um, I play it a fair amount. So I've gotten up to what, tier 30. And what they've done in this one is, if I wanna upgrade it, there's been a few times where you could play, pay gems in order to, to purchase the pass holder, but more often than not, it is costing actual money. So it's just something that you may want to take a look at and consider if it's something that you want to do. Now, it's not super expensive. It's, it's I believe it's like five bucks. We'll find that out here in just a second. But when you do click on it, you do see kind of everything that you get here for purchasing this pack. It just kind of, it gives you a boost, gives you extra rewards as you're working through stuff that you would normally do in this game anyway. So if I hit purchase on there, yeah, so it's $4.99 right there. So there we go. I did not purchase it this time around. I will not, uh, at least in beta, I will not be, be spending money on this. I wanna do it as free to play as possible. When it goes into global, I'll make that decision at that time because games that I cover, I do typically put some money into because the developers and everybody put so much into this. In my opinion, I would like to help contribute to that. So anyway, so here we go. So let's take a look at this event now. We've got one day and 11 hours. And like I said, there's some good and some bad. So in this event here, uh, these are the rewards that we're playing for, right? So we have Simba. Simba Tokens is a new character. I did unlock him. We also have Rafiki here. I did unlock him as well. I have not played with them just yet. Uh, and then you have Scar. You need 25 p uh, pieces of Scar here. I have not gotten him, and I'll show you why here in just a second. And then we also have a new spell. We have the Spirit of Mufasa tokens. I'm I'm halfway there. And then uh, and then ultimately you have <laughs> you have this talisman right here. All right. So that is what you're playing for in this new event. So let's see what the event is. Here's part of the bad for me. So in this event, they made some changes. Historically, events allow you to go in here and replay the same level five different times. This one is not allowing you to do it. I think maybe in the Aladdin. Yeah, same with the Aladdin. So typically all the way up until the boss one. So like with the Aladdin event, when you're going up against the final boss on that one, you can only complete that once per star level. But this one here, so they took it down from five, five opportunities down to three for all of them. So you need to complete this first one, the Boneyard. Then you need to complete the Vile Cavern. 
and that has to be done before you can even before you can even access the final showdown. Now, the final showdown allows you to complete it 99 times. 99. That's a lot. But anyway, so let's go ahead and jump into the Boneyard. Boneyard is pretty easy. There's only three. There's only three of them, right? Boneyard one, two, and three. So we're going to go through this. We're going to go through number three just so you can see what it is. It tells you what the requirements are. See, level 15 plus. So you get level 15 pretty quick. I am not going to auto win it. So I am going to go ahead and throw these characters in there right now. I'm going to take that off auto, and I'm going to slow it down a little bit. All right, so this is times one. This is just your typical. So I'm going to go ahead and boost boost myself up over there. I'm going to use my carpet on these back guys. Took them out pretty quick. So again, I'm like level 40-something. And I'm just going to let them auto attack, really. No, let's, yeah, boom, done. So this one is really easy. So that's how you get through that first one. You can do that three times total. I didn't get any any pieces. So let's go ahead and we're, I'm gonna auto win these next two. Boom, there we go. I'm really kind of having a hard time with only being able to do it three times. Now this one here, this you have to complete every single one of these because it requires these keys in order to access the final showdown. So, and for that, you need to be level 60 plus. You need gear tier six, and then uh, you need a full squad of that. So, star level seven characters. I only have one seven star right now. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you what this battle here looks like. I'm not level 50 yet, so I'm not going to do that. I did two star. You know what? I will. I'll just go ahead and do this one. All right. So, we need to defeat the Bonehead Hyena. Uh, Bonehead Hyena has increased defense while other hyenas are present. So, Want to get those taken care of as quickly as possible. Hyenas gain an extra attack and have health restored if they defeat a character. So, obviously, you don't want to lose a character. Let's go ahead and do this. So, we need star level 5, uh, level 50 plus, gear tier 5. I'm not level 50. You can see I'm level 46 on most of them. So, let's go ahead and go in there. Also, uh, gear tier. I am gear tier 5. So, my gear is at the right level. I've got Ariel in there as my leader. If you want to see what the leader ability is, allies receive a 10% bonus to their maximum health. Level 1 right now. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in there with... I think I want to change this, actually. I'm going to change this spell out, and I'm going to put in these guys. Cause a little distraction. Let's see if I can three-star with, with this team right here. All right, so let's see what we want to do. That's the Bonehead Hyena. I'm going to start working on these guys back here. Speed up my guys. Let's get cause some distraction there. That's what the that's what the Snowgies are really good about. So you want to take out all the other hyenas first before Bonehead, seeing how they they help them out. Let's go ahead and go on this. No, I should. Okay, good. We're good there. Now let's go ahead and hit both of them with this. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be able to three-star it, which is pretty cool. I'm throw some more snow cheese out there. I love those guys because they just distract him and allow you to do just continually do some damage. We got rid of all the other hyenas, so I'm not worried about them. Snowgies are doing their job really well. Wow, those guys are lasting a long time. That was a really good. Uh, that was a good tactic right there to go ahead and do that. All right, we're almost done. Right here, we did three star, which is very nice. I like that. Boom. All right, that's it. So now, what I do here is uh, I'll go ahead and, and auto win the rest of it. And look at that. I didn't. I didn't get any. I didn't get any of what I needed there. So I I have been spending a hundred gems to refresh it, but it goes immediately from hundred gems to two hundred gems. I don't spend two hundred gems. 
So, it is beta. All this stuff will be coming back around, I'm assuming. So, there we go. That's the new event. We've got one day and ten hours left. Let me show you... Let me show you uh, Mufasa and everybody in here that I was able to get unlocked. So, let's see. Down towards the bottom. Here's Simba right here. So, his ability is the Royal Roughhousing, the Strength of the Ancestors, his Downward Dash. He can heal with Hakuna Matata. He does have a leader skill here, which is pretty cool. So, allies receive a 20% bonus to their maximum health while defending in Club Conquest. So, this is really cool. He is specific. He's going to be more effective in Club Conquest, which is very nice. I like that. And then uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Rafiki. I didn't want to look at every single one of their abilities, but let's take a look at Rafiki here really quick. There he is. Boom. He's got some uh, He's got some healing abilities in there as well, but I don't know if he is specific to Conquest at all. I don't think so. He is good for... He is good for the event, though. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like, like he would be specific to conquest not that simba was specific to conquest but he definitely he there's definitely a benefit for having him in there all right and that is the event so the good the good is the characters are cool the artwork is awesome i do like the combat i like i like the uh, uh at least the two levels i haven't been able to take a look at that third level yet so very cool there. The bad I don't like take going down from five tries until you use uh, until you have to refresh with gems all the way down to three, and then I don't like that you have to get all the way to level sixty seven star characters in order to unlock that final dungeon unless he is like the primo character to have in the game and that i don't know right now all right so that's my opinion on it that's the new event the lion king event very cool all right everybody that's what i have for you today and as always i want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video if you liked it make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below take care everyone and we'll talk to you next time